from uh, having watched you and talked with you and had the odd beer or two with you over the years that you have never been interested in statistics, but statistics follow a successful bowler or batsman and they are part of the game. Sometimes they can be made to lie, but good players do marvellous things over the years. And in that series which followed in Australia, 1981-82 against Pakistan, up in that second test match in Brisbane, you picked up your 300th wicket and... For me, the most interesting thing about that is that it was in your 56th test, which was the fewest that uh, anyone has achieved that. And a uh, terrific performance, uh, Wazim Raja was the unlucky man. Yeah. I think, while I'm not a statistical person, the one thing that I, I do, uh, if I'm looking at statistics at any stage, I do relate to, and I think is important, is just that, what you spoke about then, and that is that a strike rate per number of tests has got to be the best way of uh, looking at uh, players, uh, test players' ability rather than average or uh, whatever. And uh, as you say, some of those um, can um, tell a lie. But I think overall, over a career, uh, the number of tests versus... Test versus wickets has got to be a, an indication of the player's ability. Right, the 300th wicket and then the record, the 310th. And I'll never forget this because uh, I was sitting there in the commentary box watching it. For a start, it was a splendid delivery. It was the sort of delivery that deserves to take a record. It was Larry Gomes at the MCG and it was also a very good catch. And then uh, statistics, as I say, can be anyone's cup of tea, but this was emotion as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, if I can take you back a bit before that, um, we played a test in Melbourne before the test before, and I was set, I think, to get that one wicket or two wickets to pass the uh, record, and they'd bought Lance Gibbs, who held the record, out from Miami, <laughs> hibernating in Miami, to come out and sort of do the presentation or whatever on the, you know, virtually on the field or you know, a lunchtime or... And he sat on his backside for sort of eight, nine days and, of course, I didn't get a wicket in that test. I went wicketless. And then we got to that one and, uh, yeah, I, I think I had Gomes, in fact, dropped earlier on by the guy who, in fact, caught it in the end, Greg Chappell. And as you say, this one, uh, he was, he'd made a few more runs and Greg took quite a good catch. Uh, it was one that... We'd planned going wider on the crease and angling right across uh, Gomes uh, with the slips a little, little wider. And it, it worked and it gave me a lot of pleasure. But then I lost my cool. I just, it was all too much then. It, uh, I, I think I lost my one to third man instead of fine leg. And, you know, they were playing the national anthem. And it, anthem and it was quite an occasion. It did hit me more some years later. Um, than at that stage. Or I guess more than anything else, I was probably a little embarrassed at all the, the to-do at that stage and didn't really... Uh, I wasn't thinking, so I ended up sort of going to no-man's land. Ten wickets in the match. And it's Nick that he's got him! Border's got him! What a great catch by Lynn Border. That was going like a tracer bullet. Great bowling by Dennis Lilly. All pitched up wide right outside off stump. Haynes going for the big drive and magnificently caught by Alan Border. That was a very, very... Quick ball flying towards Slip and Border made no mistake at all. And again to the night watchman Croft. It's him with the pad, that must be close. He's given him out, he's gone. Out the LBW. Lily's got another one. Well, the Australians are alive. The night watchman Croft out LBW boldly hobbling across the stumps. Well, the atmosphere electric and Lily in to bowl the last ball of the day. He's bowled him! He's bowled him! The last ball of the day. Lily getting one to nip back, finding the inside edge and bowling out for Richards. Well, what a magnificent start for Australia. The West Indies four down for ten and the crowd absolutely ecstatic. Well, the great man doing it on the last ball of the day, getting rid of the real West Indian danger man. What a magnificent ball. Well pitched up, nipped back and Vivian Richards out bowled. It's 
in the air, it's going down towards that man down, it's, it's Kim Hughes, he's got him, yes, he's fallen for the trap, hook, line and sinker, and Dennis Lee gives him the little wave, and Dujon is going back to the pavilion after a very useful hand for the West Indies, well, one has to take your hat off to Dennis Lee, he's set that trap, he's been hit for four in the air, fine, and at last Dujon deciding to go for it again, and Kim Hughes down its deep square leg, equal to the task. Drake Trebbles got it. That is the record. The wicket taking test match record. Larry Gomes caught Greg Chappell. Paul Dennis Lilly to give Lilly 310 wickets in test match cricket. Holds the record now. What a great performance from a great fast ball. There's an ink and he's gone. He's out, caught behind Andy Roberts. Getting an outside edge there to a beautiful ball by Dennis Lilly. That one held up on off stump. Just nicked the outside edge of the bat and all the Australians up in the air. So that's Lilly's sixth wicket. Now there's a mid-off for Ghana. It's in the air and he's out. A slightly slower ball there by Dennis Lilly. Ghana lobbing it up to Laird at forward short leg and that's Dennis Lilly's career best in test cricket. Seven for 83 his figures, beating him seven for 89. 39,000 on the first day, 44 on the 31 on the third and 19 today. That's close. He's out, yes, he's got him. It looked out, Robert's getting it across and Dennis Lewis strikes. What a wonderful test match and a great one for Dennis Lewis. That's close too, he doesn't have the shot, he's out. Yes, he did not push up the big man. And that's it. Bowling some of a bit off stump. To hold him. That's close, got to be close. That's out, that's the match, and a great match for Dennis Lilly. Ten wickets in the match. And victory, a great victory for Australia. It's brought back up within three for eight. That goes down as one of the great test matches of all time. Let me take you now to a moment of nostalgia. The last 